Rishan Keshing passed away at the Regional Institute of Medical Science Hospital in Fall on 22nd of August, 8.15 p.m. He died following multi-organ failure and sepsis. He was admitted on 1st July 2017 at Dreams due to hypertensive pacemaker problem. Later shifted to ICU on August 15. Doctor pronounced his death as due to septic shock failure where all organ failed to function. His last word before he died was, let there be peace between hills and valleys. Well, as you all know, my uh, father he passed away yesterday. It was a big shock for us also because we thought he was recovering. The previous day, I chatted with the doctor also in the morning and the doctor was very positive. So we thought that he was recovering. Somehow, So he passed away. I'm grateful to the government, to the state, people of the state, everyone. Well. Born on 25 October 1920, he was a senior politician of Indian National Congress, a member of Parliament of India representing Manipur in Rajya Sabha. He was the oldest serving parliamentarian in the world and his term at Rajya Sabha ended on 9 April 2014. Keshing served as the Chief Minister of Manipur from 1980 to 1988 and from 1994 to 1997. Hailing from Bungpa village of Ukrul district, Manipur, the Congress leader is survived by his wife, four sons and two daughters. A graduate from Calcutta University in 1949, he began his career as a teacher in the Bungpa Lower Primary School at 16. He later resigned from his teaching career in 1952 and entered the political arena. He was sworn in as the cabinet minister in 1975 became the Deputy Chief Minister in 1977, Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee President in 1978, and sworn in as the 11th Chief Minister on November 27, 1980. He held the record of the longest-serving Chief Minister of Manipur after Ibu B. Singh. The sun has left a vacuum that nobody can fill. He's a role model in social life, in political life, he, he was so upright, a man of principle. And he was the symbol of unity and love and humanity. Bereaved family members and relatives were condoled at Dream's intensive care unit by MLAs and politicians, including Gai Kangam, Didi Tesu, and others. Now he is seated at your right hand. Irrespective of castes, tribals, valleys and religions, pay a visit to share the sorrow condolences. His condolence ceremony was held at his residence at Mantipukri on Wednesday morning. Many prominent leaders from all political party visited to condol late Risham. Among them Congress leader Ibobi and other veteran leaders were present. Later, floral tribute were paid at MPCC complex BT Road. His mortal remains will be led to rest at his native village at Bungpa Kulen on August 24. Manipur has announced three days of mourning. All state's government offices and educational institutions remain closed on Wednesday as a mark of respect to the departed leader. In Delhi, Home Minister Rajnath Singh condoled his demise and described him as a towering leader from Manipur who believed in humanity, social harmony and clean politics. Union Minister of State for Home Kiran Rijiju also expressed grief. Rijiju said that despite being 96 year old, Keshing remains so fit till date. Manipur Governor Najma Habdullah and Congress Vice President Rahul Gandhi also mourned Keshing's demise. Prime Minister Narendra Modi also condoled the demise of former Manipur Chief Minister Rishan Keshing, saying he left a great void in politics of the Northeast. My thoughts are with the family and well wishers of Mr. Rishan Keshing in this set hour, the Prime Minister added. 
with Tara Walsha, EPN, Infal.